In today's video, I just want to share with you what I did to fix Plex after upgrading to DSM-7. Now, I also apologize if you hear some thunder in the background. A T-storm is rolling through the area just as I'm recording this video. But in any event, before we get to what the topic of this video is all about, I do want to share with you this article from blackvoid.club, and it talks about preparing for a Plex migration to DSM-7. I'll put a link to this article down in the video description. It has all of the steps outlined on the best practices for upgrading Plex from DSM-6 to DSM-7, but the biggest takeaway is basically to uninstall Plex from DSM-6, upgrade the NAS to DSM-7, and then reinstall Plex and set your permissions. But today we're going to focus on what happens when you don't uninstall Plex before moving to DSM-7. Well, it breaks. So what do you do, right? So there are steps you can take to get Plex working again, and that's what I want to share with you. And it's really simple. It's not hard. Now, some of it I can't show you because the upgrade to DSM-7 is already done, but after the upgrade completed, DSM-7 prompted me and said that Plex was incompatible. But the nice thing about it was it offered me a repair button. So when I click the repair button, what DSM-7 did was remove the manually installed version of Plex that I had put into DSM-6 and then reinstalled a version of Plex that was compatible with DSM-7. However, we're not done at that point. The next step is you have to go into your control panel and you have to set your user permissions. And this is the important part, so follow along closely. So we're going to start by going to the control panel. We're going to click on shared folder. We're going to come down and select the Plex folder, come up and select edit. And we're going to come over in this window and select permissions. And then from this drop down menu here, we're going to click on the drop down and we're going to switch to system internal user. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the user that's called or the system user that's named Plex media server. And we want to give the Plex media server custom privileges by default after the upgrade the Plex Media Server is set to no access. So once you click on Custom, what you want to make sure you do is make sure you enable all of the administration features, all of the read options, and all of the write options. Click on Done, and then click on Apply to this folder, subfolders, and all files, and then go ahead and click on Save. Then click on Save to close out of that. And realistically, that's it. You're done. Plex should be working from this point forward. So if you liked the video and found this tip helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you, as I do in every video, for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.